vans from Chevrolet. A full range of hard-working models to handle America's needs for efficiently hauling lots of cargo or plenty of people. Here's the popular Chevy van, available in short or long wheelbase models. They're big on the inside, yet their efficient overall lengths make maneuvering easy. Wide side and rear cargo door openings provide plenty of room for easy loading or unloading of bulky cargo. The 110-inch wheelbase Chevy van accommodates up to 246 cubic feet of cargo. For longer loads, Chevy's 125-inch wheelbase model features a 14-and-a-half-foot maximum loading length. When it comes to cargo capacity, the interior cargo volume of the long wheelbase model is 296 cubic feet. Room for all these paint cans with many feet to spare. Chevy vans come in three series to accommodate various load-carrying demands. The half-ton G10 can actually handle more than a ton of maximum gross payload. The three-quarter ton G20, up to 2,731 pounds. And the one-ton G30 handles up to 4,276 pounds, more than two tons. For special commercial applications, Chevy vans can be ordered with factory-installed vocational equipment packages, featuring a variety of convenient bins, racks, and storage compartments. For more cargo-carrying capacity, there's Chevy's High Cube van. It retains the comfort and convenience of Chevy van's front passenger compartment, and it's available in 125-inch or 146-inch wheelbases with either aluminum or steel bodies. With an interior body height of nearly six and a half feet, a load space width of up to almost seven and a half feet, and a maximum loading length of more than 12 feet, the long wheelbase high cube van can handle up to 576 cubic feet of large, bulky cargo. Depending on the need, four styles of rear doors are available. Conventional style hinge doors with a 38-inch opening are standard. Or choose from the optional 60-inch wide doors, 74-inch full width hinge doors, or the available overhead rear door. Add the available dual rear wheel option and Chevy High Cube vans can be spec'd for a GVW rating up to 10,000 pounds. For even bigger cargoes and payloads, select Chevy Step Van, a tough, roomy walk-in van available in 10 and a half, 12 and a half, or 14 and a half foot bodies in a choice of steel or aluminum. Because they offer the convenience of being able to walk from the driver area to the cargo area, Step vans are ideally suited for day-in, day-out work of multi-stop delivery. How much can they carry? Well, with the 14 and a half foot lightweight aluminum body, Step vans GVW ratings can range up to 14,000 pounds with up to 717 cubic feet of cargo space. Not all Chevrolet vans are built for hauling cargo. Chevy sport vans are a very efficient way to carry passengers in roomy comfort. Sport van is available in either the G10 series with a 110-inch wheelbase or the G1020 or 30 series with a 125-inch wheelbase. Standard on both models are high-back vinyl bucket seats and a three-passenger center bench seat to provide comfortable seating for five. Add an optional second bench seat and seating capacity increases to eight. Add a third optional bench seat to the long wheelbase G30 sport van and it carries 12 people with plenty of leg and shoulder room. And there's still plenty of room left for cargo behind the last seat. All bench seats have a quick release feature for added versatility. To further enhance sport van standard good looks and functional value, a choice of two optional trim levels is available. Order the mid-level Bonaventure trim, and it'll add a chromed grille with round headlamps, handsome nameplates, chromed bumpers, and bright exterior trim. On the inside, custom vinyl seat trim, color-keyed trim panels on doors and sidewalls, full-length color-keyed rubber floor mat, full-length foam-backed headliner, and more. For top-of-the-line luxury and style, Chevy Beauville includes chrome grille with rectangular headlamps, special side marker lamps and reflectors, body side and rear moldings, and bright exterior trim. Inside, the luxurious custom cloth or custom vinyl seat trim, vinyl trim panels, color-keyed insulated headliner, full-length plush nylon carpeting, and much more. That's Chevrolet's wide choice of vans for 1982. Chevy van... High cube van, step van, and sport van. They're Chevrolet's answer to America's needs for efficiently carrying people or cargo. 
Built tough enough to handle today's jobs. Built to last. Operating efficiency. The dividends show up here at the pump and here at the service bay. There are a lot of built-in reasons why Chevy vans and sport vans can handle large loads of cargo and people with impressive operating efficiency. Take a look at the power team availability first. Choose between the standard six and two optional V8s. A three-speed manual transmission is standard. A three-speed automatic is optional. And there are seven different rear axle ratios available to effectively match power to application demands. The 4.1 liter 6 is standard on G10 and 20 series vans and sport vans, and it features a staged two barrel carburetor. It's one reason why this engine is able to combine high efficiency with impressive performance. For more power, choose the 5 liter V8 with electronic spark control. It's a high compression engine that provides surprising horsepower and acceleration for its size, with fuel efficiency rivaling some six cylinder equipped vans. In California, a 5-liter V8 with 4-barrel carburetor is available. To handle even heavier payloads and trailer towing requirements, the 5.7-liter V8 is available in sport vans and G30 vans. A torque converter clutch comes standard with the available automatic transmission on G10 and 20 models. It provides a direct mechanical link between the engine and drive line at cruising speeds. This happens when normal road speed is reached in third gear thereby reducing engine RPM. And of course, an engine that doesn't have to work as hard uses less fuel. Chevrolet puts those efficient power teams into an aerodynamically styled body that's been refined by extensive wind tunnel testing. On the go, air streams easily around the vehicle. It's a fact, a Chevy van or sport van has an air drag coefficient rivaling many of today's redesigned passenger cars. All Chevy vans and sport vans under 8,500 pounds GVWR come standard with high-pressure radial tires that roll easier than non-radials. And Chevy's front disc brakes use low-drag brake calipers that allow the wheels to turn easier. Underneath Chevy's hood are several features that demonstrate how normal maintenance costs are kept down through easy serviceability and the use of low-maintenance components. The Delco Freedom 2 battery is standard. It never needs water. And the charge level is easily determined by checking the visible indicator. Here's the Delcotron, a transistorized unit that combines the generator and voltage regulator into one compact unit, reducing the amount of exposed wiring. A high energy ignition system is standard. No points or condenser to replace. Spark plug change intervals are every 30,000 miles under normal driving conditions. To keep downtime to a minimum and help save on the cost of servicing, Chevrolet vans have been designed to make it easy for a technician to check 27 maintenance items from under the hood. And in addition to the standard 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12 new vehicle limited warranty, the driveline components of Chevy vans and sport vans are further covered by a Power Protection Plus limited warranty, good for 24 months or 24,000 miles. Power teams designed for efficiency, aerodynamic styling, low rolling resistance, ease of maintenance design, all part of what gives Chevy vans and sport vans their impressive operating efficiency. Chevrolet vans often have to work in very rugged conditions, hauling heavy cargoes on bumpy roads, in corrosion-causing elements, all demanding tough construction to withstand constant beatings. Chevy's tough unitized body frame construction is designed for big, heavy cargoes. Heavy gauge steel side rails, cross sills, and outriggers form an integral frame, which is welded together with front and rear floor panels to form a tough underbody. For structural rigidity, steel side strainers and roof bows form the framework for the one-piece side and roof panels. All together, it's one tough unit. 
Chevy vans and sport vans feature rugged front and rear suspension systems. They're designed to help smooth the ride and help isolate passengers and cargo from bumpy roads. A rigid, massive steel girder beam is the main support component of Chevy's fully adjustable independent front suspension. Attached at each end are contoured steel upper and lower control arms. A tough, friction-free coil spring at each wheel is computer matched to the GVW rating. The big feature of this design is that each pair of control arms is free to move up and down. This allows one wheel to absorb a road shock without transferring that force to the other wheel. The geometric design of the control arms also help keep the wheel travel vertical to help avoid unnecessary tire wear. A tough front suspension, smooth riding as well. And because prolonged travel over rough roads always takes its toll, Chevy's front suspension can easily be adjusted for tow-in, camber, and caster. At the rear, Chevy's multi-leaf suspension is designed to automatically adjust to varying loads and road conditions. When carrying a few passengers, light, fragile cargo, or no cargo at all, only a few leaves are utilized, providing a soft ride. With heavy loads, stronger spring leaves automatically come into play for firmer support. And it's this same progressive spring action that also helps absorb the impact of bumpy roads and other sudden road jolts. Road salt and other corrosive elements have long been something that can eat away at a truck's worth. In the past several years, intensive research has led to significant improvements in the anti-corrosion treatments of Chevy van and sport van. These significant improvements begin with the expanded use of special steels in areas that have shown to be especially vulnerable to corrosion. Galvanized steel is used in areas like the inner and outer rocker panels, rear door outer panels, wheel housings and grill filler panels. Zincrometal, a steel with zinc primer baked on its surface is used in areas like the front and side door outer panels and the body side panels. And the front and rear door hinges are zinc plated steel. To illustrate the corrosion fighting effectiveness of specially treated steel, these pieces of zincrometal and untreated steel were subjected to salt spray for just 24 hours. Compare the difference. The untreated steel already shows visible signs of rust. Not so with the Zincro metal. To further enhance anti-corrosion measures, each Chevy van and sport van is dipped in a vat of special primer. Because the body is positively charged and the primer is negatively charged, the paint is magnetically attracted to the metal for good adhesion and coverage in seams and hard to get at corners and crevices. After scratch-resistant acrylic enamel paint is baked on, an aluminum wax preservative is sprayed in critical areas, like the lower body and rocker panel inner surfaces. Tough, unitized body frame construction, rugged suspension systems, attention to corrosion-fighting detail. It's all part of the value in the design and construction of Chevy vans and sport vans. Deep down value to keep them looking good. Spacious roominess, comfortable seating available for up to 12 passengers, an impressively smooth ride. Three good reasons why Chevy Sport Van is popular with so many different types of buyers for both business and personal use. Sport Van comfort begins when the doors are open. They open wide, so getting in and out is easy. And convenient doorsteps provide good footing. Inside, there's plenty of room to get comfortable. Optional swivel reclining front bucket seats provide an extra measure of comfort for cat napping or just plain relaxing. For the driver, sport van is as convenient to drive as it is comfortable to ride in. The seating position provides a commanding view of the road. Instruments and controls are all within easy view and reach. A new multifunction switch conveniently places the control of the headlamp dimmer, turn signals, and windshield washer wipers all within fingertip reach. With the touch of a finger, all doors can be locked or unlocked. Power front windows are available too. For more driving convenience, order the optional tilt steering wheel that adjusts to six different positions, even while driving. Sportvan's instrument panel extension features nice touches that add to riding comfort 
like beverage holders, a convenient shelf for odds and ends, and a handy storage compartment. There's a wide range of sound options, including AM FM stereo with tape deck and speakers located front and rear. Another reason why sport van is so comfortable inside is because outside, there's Chevy's famous massive girder beam independent front suspension that smooths out the bumps before they reach the passengers. At the rear, the two-stage multi-leaf rear suspension automatically adjusts to varying loads and sudden jolts. What makes sport van so practical for families and business is that it combines plenty of room and comfort for people with the versatility to carry plenty of cargo as well. And for comfortable versatility, an optional rear bench seat folds into a travel bed, a great feature for family trips. Chevy Sport Van for 82, with all the uncompromising room and comfort to make it an enjoyable way to travel in the 80s. Chevy Love, the efficiently sized light utility vehicle that handles tough jobs with smart looking style and impressive maneuverability, now offers the kind of power that's fast becoming popular. Yes, for the Series 12, a diesel is now standard in the two-wheel drive Love, along with a five-speed manual transmission to help stretch those fuel dollars further than ever. Also standard are a host of functional features. Complementing its sleek aerodynamic styling is a bold grille with rectangular headlamps and a chrome front bumper. Radial tires with bright hubcaps are standard. And so are chrome dual exterior mirrors. At the business end of this hard-working pickup are handy cargo tie-downs located inside the box to retain a smooth exterior look. The tough double wall tailgate opens and closes easily with just one hand. Love's two-wheel drive model is available in two pickup box lengths. The six-foot box, 102-inch wheelbase model shown here, hauls up to 1,185 pounds of gross payload. Love's 119-inch long wheelbase model has a seven-and-a-half-foot box, the longest of any small-size pickup. It also hauls the heaviest standard gross payload, too, 1,690 pounds. Enough to handle a driver and all these bricks or all this cement, or all this lumber. An important part of Love's standard value that makes it enjoyable to ride in is the torsion bar independent front suspension. It takes rugged bumps and helps smooth them out before they get to the passengers. Love's rear suspension features two-stage rubber bush springs. They adjust automatically to varying loads, whether light or heavy. Inside Love, standard value like the full-width vinyl bench seat that folds easily forward for quick access to a handy storage area keeps valuables out of sight. A lockable glove compartment is standard. The instrument panel is smartly styled with easy-to-read gauges. Controls are within fingertip reach, like this convenient column-mounted multifunction switch that controls the headlamp dimmer, turn signals, windshield wipers and washers. Side window defoggers are standard to help keep the glass clear. For more style and luxury, choose the available Mikado trim. It includes a cloth bench seat, plush wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, deluxe steering wheel, and gear shift knob. Comfortable high back bucket seats are also available with the Mikado trim. Air conditioning is among a host of options available to help tailor love to specific needs. Also available, a choice of AM or AM FM radio, sliding rear window, a rear step bumper, either painted or chromed, chrome front bumper guards, and stylish full wheel covers. The diesel powered two wheel drive love, the fun to drive, hard working pickup offering great fuel economy. The 
Chevy Love 4x4. The efficient size four-wheeler offering the choice of standard 1.8-liter gas-powered engine or optional 2.2-liter diesel. It's a real fuel-pinching, traction-grabbing way to go where there's tough work to be done or where the fun is hard to get to. A lot of value for the dollar is what every Love 4x4 offers, starting with its efficient part-time four-wheel drive system. With the manual front hub slot, the two-speed transfer case shifted into four high, there's plenty of traction for most conditions calling for four-wheel drive. Shift into four low with its 1.87 to one gear reduction, and it doubles the torque to handle extra rough going in mud, sand, or snow, or for climbing up steep grades. Love 4x4 is an efficient size, too. Due to its smaller turning circle, it can squeeze through tight spaces where bigger 4x4s can't go. For that sporty look, Love 4-wheel drive graphic decals are available to dress up the side panels and hood. Because the running gear is tucked well into the chassis, Love offers a new entry height and an impressive 7.5 inches of ground clearance. Stone shield plates for the radiator, transfer case, and fuel tank are also standard for added protection in rugged off-roading conditions. Out front, Love's front suspension features independent upper and lower control arms and torsion bar springs, so the wheels work independently to help smooth out the ground underneath. Double acting shocks and a front stabilizer bar are also standard. Unlock the front hubs, shift back into two high, and the front wheels turn freely in two-wheel drive without turning the front axle, differential, or drive shaft. This reduces unnecessary front axle wear and improves efficiency when driving on the highway. The Love 4x4, available with gas or diesel power. Either way, it's a fuel-squeezing traction grabber loaded with standard value. For many of today's pickup buyers who are looking to make trips to the pump less frequent and less painful on the pocketbook, the diesel-powered Chevy Love is a timely solution. To get specific about Love's fuel-efficient diesel, it has a 2.2-liter displacement with a relatively high compression ratio of 21 to 1 and a 58 net horsepower rating and 93 foot-pounds of torque. And like all diesel engines, there are no spark plugs, no condenser, or points to replace. To understand how the 2.2-liter diesel works, let's look at its main elements. There's a cylinder, a piston, intake valve, and exhaust valve. There's a combustion chamber that features a pre-combustion chamber in the cylinder head, a fuel injector, and an electric glow plug. There is no spark plug, because a diesel is fired by the heat of compression, rather than by a spark. On the intake stroke, the intake valve opens. The piston moves down and draws air into the cylinder, not fuel and air like in gas engines, just air. On compression, the intake valve closes. The piston moves up and compresses the air to a ratio of nearly 22 to 1, or more than two and a half times as much as in a typical gasoline engine. Pressure squeezes the air so it gets hot enough to ignite the diesel fuel. Just near the end of the compression stroke, the injector nozzle squirts a precisely measured amount of fuel into the pre-combustion chamber. The hot, compressed air ignites it. The thorough burning of the fuel is aided by the chamber's design that provides a swirling motion as expanding gases are forced into the combustion chamber where the job is finished. With that, the power stroke begins as the expanding gases force the piston to move downward and provide power to the drivetrain. Finally, on the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve opens, the piston moves up, forcing the exhaust gases out, the valve closes, and the cycle begins again. Starting a diesel is simple. When the engine is warm, it's the same as starting a gas engine. However, when the engine is not up to the necessary temperature, and the ignition is turned on, a glow plug indicator will light up on the instrument panel. While the light is on, the glow plug quickly warms the pre-combustion chamber. This quick-on system of the diesel-powered Love takes only about three and a half seconds to warm the chamber to a level that's required for proper combustion. When the glow plug light goes out, it's a simple matter of turning the key and starting the engine. 
An engine block heater is standard to aid starting in extremely cold weather. It should be used when temperatures are minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. It works by simply plugging it into a 110 volt power outlet. To help safeguard the engine against the potential hazard of water entering the fuel system, the Diesel Love features a water separator in the fuel filter located under the hood. When the filter indicator light comes on during normal operation, water should be drained from the separator. This is done by simply loosening the separator's drain plug and moving the manual pump up and down about 10 times. After the water is drained, the drain plug should be tightened and the pump moved several times to reprime the system with fuel. Be sure to see the owner's manual for more specific instructions. Number two diesel fuel is recommended for use with the Love Diesel in warm weather above 20 degrees Fahrenheit. In cold weather, winterized number two fuel is recommended. If it's not available in your area, number one diesel fuel can be used. To help maximize the Love Diesel's efficiency, the two-wheel drive model is equipped with a five-speed manual transmission with overdrive and a 3.73 to one rear axle ratio. Love's four-wheel drive diesel model is equipped with a four-speed manual transmission, two-speed transfer case, and a 410 to one rear axle ratio. Whether it's the two-wheel drive model or the traction-grabbing four-wheel drive, the diesel-powered Chevy Love is the right choice for stretching those fuel dollars in a tough, hard-working, fun-to-drive pickup from Chevrolet.